Yeah, you know, rapid transit. Hey, Dr. Flink. Long time no see, buddy. How are you? Ah, thanks buddy. <laughs> probably probably wise. <laughs> probably a wise approach. Oh, good for you, buddy. Congrats. figure out how to do this uh, focusing issue I'm using a uh, handy cam and it auto focuses oh I got uh, I got both sorry Cursed City hasn't arrived yet I, I bought it from a friend in interstate Ah, super cool. Alright, we're going to try and figure this out while we've got fuck all viewers. Okay. Sorry for everyone. Uh, so, if I click on uh, Setup. I click on this little button. now adjust the focus that is the question because this still does white balance
I'm going to Google it. Stunning viewing, I'm sure. How do I do manual focus on my AX33? Ah, uh, press the manual button to switch the manual. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Very cool. Okay. So how do I do that for focus? This is stunning viewing, I'm sure. G'day, Brian. Oh. I figured it out, friends. I figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. figured out how to set manual focus and a manual exposure. How good is that? I feel great about today. And I got my best friend hanging out with me here. Hey buddy. Alright mate, what are you doing down there? <laughs> G'day Necromancer. And these vampires are so cool. Ah, Blackheart. They're uh, they're the they're the big bus, aren't they? For like movies, movie um, bus and stuff. Ah, oh, thanks, Kegafort. You're a champion. Going into the draw this month to win uh, flowers from Rhino Roger. That's pictured in the Kickstarter. Uh, I always like painting wings because I find you can just make them look good with the absolute minimum of effort. These sorts of wings anyway, the stretch skin wings. Feathered wings can suck a fat one. I'm 
I'm absolutely chuffed I figured out how to do that uh, focus, friends. <laughs> it's been three months of streaming now, <laughs> as, of, uh, as of two days ago. And, uh, and I finally figured out manual focus. What a guy. Yes, yes indeed, Necromancer. I, um, yeah, I just, I paint whatever I feel like painting. I've got no, I've got no real, um, focus at the moment other, uh, other than my Camelot diorama, which has still not arrived. So, um, yeah, just get to, get to paint whatever I feel like. These came out, um, yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not super keen on playing a massive amount of Underworlds, but, it's it's really great um, way to just paint some different models, um, you know, like the wood elves and the beastmen and these guys and the stormcast and the high elves. You know, they're all, all really different models. You get to play with different color schemes and yeah, games workshop models are just crazy. So yeah. Thanks, Miss China. Here's the, here's the one we did yesterday. I'm doing well today. Got a little Hugo. That's the one I did yesterday on stream. So, sort of, well, I didn't quite finish him, but he's mostly finished. So, just going to try and get all of them to a similar level, and then we'll finish them as a group. Yeah, so I started off my day really well. I took my little mate for a walk to the dog park. Nice early walk like 6 six forty five when we left on a Sunday morning we uh, we walked down to the dog park and he got to play with some big dogs he loves playing with the big dogs and uh, yeah having a having a crazy run around and were you here last night when I when I introduced him He's going to be pretty angry at me for this, but hey buddy, come here, come here, he's a bit sleepy, hey, say hello, hi everyone, hi, hey, hey, buddy, that's nice, all right, off you go, go back to sleep, there you go. <laughs> yeah, he's a good little dude. <laughs> so he had a fun time this morning, and now I'm going to sit down and do some streaming, aren't we, buddy? You're going to sleep while I paint soldiers. Seems like a good deal for both of us. <laughs> he did fix the focus. Good job, mate. Good job.
What colour here for this guy do we think? Uh, I am, uh, but there, there, there is some texture on there already. So um, when I do the airbrushing, it's gonna sort of double tap the this, the texture on the model, and then the texture that I've just laid down with a brush. Okay, okay, sauce. What's going on, mate? I am really, really, really not great at mixing colours. Well, look, that's probably not true. I, I am actually pretty good at it. I, I can do it, no problems, but if I had a choice between mixing colours for a toy soldier paint job or just grabbing toy soldier colours from my fucking paint pots, I will always choose that option. So yeah, we'll do a we'll do a touch of uh, of airbrushing. I'm sure you'll be surprised to know, just to uh, smooth these skin tones around and maybe lean them a little more towards purple than the pink that it's currently at. Maybe, maybe we will go for a subdued white hair on this guy.
Get a salamander milk. Things are well, mate. Started my day off very relaxed. Good night's sleep last night. Started or uh, well, finished Archer season uh, season ten. Space season, which is very cool. And uh, yeah, looking forward to a uh, relaxing painting day on Sunday. Love a Sunday. Before we get back into real life tomorrow. G'day Mini MF. I do. I do live in the future. It is uh, 8.48 on a Sunday morning right now. Hey buddy. You okay? Good boy. Yes, I'm one of those unfortunates who has a ute, so invariably I get asked to help people move. It's quite depressing. Quite depressing. Yes, I know rapid transit. Uh, the reason I do this stream is uh, so I can hopefully catch some uh, some American friends. Thanks, a real buzzman. Every weekend it feels like someone's like, hey man, uh, you doing anything this weekend? It's like some guy I haven't spoken to in six months. What? Yeah mate, what's going on? I haven't spoken in forever. Oh yeah mate, yeah, no, everything's going well. Yeah. Hey, uh, you still got that ute? Yeah mate. Any chance you want to you know, come and help me move some, uh, some shit? Well, if I can be honest, friend, you can get absolutely fucked. But, uh... Sure, sure I'll help you. What a bloke. Nah, it's a, it's a company car, mate, so. I don't, uh, I don't own a ute because I am a passionate vehicle owner. Turbo Kid. Hmm. I don't think so. What's Turbo Kid? Is it a movie? TV show? Some other? No. I feel like that's my dog though. <laughs> hey buddy. Turbo kit. 
You are. Nope, didn't watch the first episode of The Nevers. At the moment, I'm, I'm into uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier and been finishing Archer. We also finished Snowpierce, Snowpierce last night or Friday night. And um, little mates up and about. What are you doing, bud? But yeah, I am probably going to start looking for a new TV show. I was trawling through Netflix last night after I finished Archer to see if anything tickled my fancy. I was looking at Titans. I'm, I'm about three episodes in of Titans. And, uh, yeah, maybe it'll be Titans. I'm not sure. Uh, no, mate, just, uh, just have a play around. You, you, can, you can mix... Um, colours in with both of those things if you wanted to. Probably use inks. Um, default to more dilute than than less dilute. Um, do a tester. That's pretty much all I did with all of mine. And uh, yeah, just find a find a um, feel that works for you. What are you doing, buddy? Okay, Rowie. Well, it was pissing down with rain last night when I was streaming. And, uh, and I think that was about when they were playing, so I imagined it must have been not great. best friend bad boy This bit. What are you doing, little mate? I wonder if he's asleep on the couch. Not being noisy. 
Yes, I can indeed, Necromancer. Let me uh, let me grab her. She's sitting just there. She was good fun. Just gonna check where Buffett is. Come in. You could have stayed there in the sun. Yeah, I think the gun came out alright. I was I wasn't confident on it, so it's cool that it came out alright. Oh, okay. Oh, I got this focus thing figured out now. Let me actually just see if I can change the white balance as well. Oh. I can do it all. I can do it all. That's really helpful actually, really good to know. Um, all right. Yeah, the gun was actually a piece I had really no clue what I was going to do with. I was reasonably happy with how it turned out, but I really like painting guns. Uh, I'm Izamago. I'm excited because I figured out how to do my. <laughs> Focus. Whereabouts in Italy, um, is Amago, are you from? Italy contains three of my five favourite cities in the world. And yes, I do have a list of five favourite cities in the world. It is, yes, it's a, a Warhammer Underworlds um, warband from the um, yeah, game Underworlds. South, beautiful. It's uh, Venice, Florence and Rome, uh, in case you're wondering, are the three that are in my top. Well, I tell you right now, MiniMF, I I have not been following G Dub like models and sculpts and stuff for a long time, and, and as of just recently. I have really started to take notice. I mean, I, I was looking at Cursed City and uh, and absolutely blown away. 
Oh yeah, the other the other two uh, the other two cities are Salzburg in Austria, which is uh, probably number one on the list, as a matter of fact. Uh, and uh, the other one is a little town in Scotland called Stirling. Um, for sentimental reasons, it was just a wonderful place to holiday in. Um, but yes, Salzburg's number one, Florence number two, uh, Rome number three, Stirling number four, and Venice number five. I can quite comfortably uh, include uh, Seville, Lisbon, <laughs> uh, any any of a number of, of uh, places I've been to. Um, uh, in my list, they're just so many amazing places in Europe. London's probably high on the list too. I love York. Yeah, I think that's absolutely spot on, mate. That they they went through a phase where they just had an overwhelming a lot of bits, and I just I never I never liked that vibe. Um, but now they've they've trimmed everything down, and there's still bits, but it, it feels like it serves a purpose. So. I have been to America, yeah. I've been to uh, Los Angeles, uh, San Francisco, San Diego, Seattle, uh, and I was also in Tijuana in Mexico, which I know is not in America, but I did go there when I was in America. practicing being able to tweak these settings really quickly that's better cool um, yeah I, I like I liked America um, but I feel like I liked America more because of the people I met than anything else I, I, I'm a bit of a history nuffy so you know, getting to getting to walk through the Roman Forum and you know feel like I was walking through the steps the pages of history was uh, it was pretty special. Venice, I got to visit the uh, place where they filmed Indiana Jones and the Lost Last Crusade. Fucking cool. <laughs> um, yeah, just it's a uh, it's a pretty magical place, Europe.
Well, if you get an opportunity, mate, uh, I would definitely, I would definitely recommend adding Salzburg. Uh, hey, Phoenix. Thanks, mate. Oh uh, yeah, Sal Salzburg, Florence, uh, and pretty much any of the major capital cities in Europe are just are amazing to go to. What's going on, Phoenix? <laughs> okay, bud. I need a Hugo cam. That's what I need. Okay, holds transistor. Mate, I did this guy on last night's stream. Well, most of him anyway, he's not finished, but... So, just doing this guy today. Bit of funsies. And stressing out about my dog, who's having his first sleepover in a while here. going to do. He's still just a little baby. He just does the dumbest things sometimes. Phoenix, you're raiding and running, mate. How'd you go on your stream? Let me just quickly do your shout out. I always forget, I'm bad. Ooh, which barbarian? One of the ones from the new uh, Saga of Noarden. again using the AK Interactive third generation paints and contrast paints on this piece. I do like it. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I love the guys from Limbo, nice dudes. Haven't got sublime casting from any of their works. Uh, any of their pieces I've bought. So.
It's been really nice coming back to Games Workshop after a really, really long absence of painting models on this scale for four or five years. I've dabbled in, in, in that time frame, but to just come back and, and find HXTAB, um, you know, the, uh, the model's really enjoyable to paint, just really, really fun to paint. Um, for the experience, even though the scale's small, you're still really just um, appreciate how how well sculpted and how nice the plastic material is to paint on, and you know it's it's neat, neato that they are. Uh, so good, that's exciting, X tab. Very exciting indeed. Missing your mum? Yeah, man. My mum gives me everything I want. Hey, foolish monk. Sit back down, little boy. Come on. <laughs> I remember that Bellicore model from, I think it actually came out when I was working at Games Workshop, the original. So, I recognised it straight away when they posted the pictures of it and I was like, oh, Bellicore. Great model. Welcome back, buddy. You need to set up Hugo Cam. <laughs> Jerk collar I have. Here's this guy.
Sunday morning streams are always weird. I got, I got good energy levels, but I'm always a bit more subdued. Mind you, the other morning I had a, uh, a very ordinary hangover from everyone on stream egging me into drinking like 11 beers. It's only like five, I think. But I wasn't feeling great that morning. Energy levels were a bit low then. <laughs> I did say weird, why? Understand how the universe operates. I, I'm excited for this. Classic stuff. Uh, thank you for following uh, Mini Smasher or something that came up before that I completely missed. Michi Masha, Michi Masha, welcome, mate. I told you about the night I started, like I found that video. I certainly don't want to claim that I'm the only person on the internet that's ever found a funny video, but became aware of its existence. Um, it was like one o'clock in the morning after I'd been streaming that night. Yeah, I was just fucking dancing in my room naked. I was just like... Bizarre, right?
Well, we're getting a lot of good painting today, friends, but we're not getting a lot of uh, a lot of exciting stories. Sure, buddy. Post a Pikachu and we shall have a look. Sometimes that is the best way to finish something, mate. Hello. Yeah, we did. We had a, we had a crazy night, boys night. Boys night. So... At my girlfriend's house, he has a little door uh, that he can go out onto his grass and do a wee. He doesn't have that at my house, so I have to take him out at night time, make sure he's done his wee before we go to bed, and then uh, get up. First thing I do is get up and take him to the toilet. Um, unfortunately, though, he's still, he still, if you need to go, you need to go, right? We're, so last time he stayed here, he did a little wee on some clothes, so a little pile of clothes which were dirty, so it was fine. But I thought to myself, well, I might just strategically place a uh, towel or something underneath my clothes this time, just in case. Worked a treat. Worked a treat. He got up at uh, whatever time he gets up and did his business, came back to bed, snuggled in next to me, Here 
there he is this morning at the dog park. Nice and early. Me playing with some big friends. There's two dog parks near the, near the dog park near my house. There's a big one and a little one uh, for the little dogs. And so we go to the little dog park normally, but there was no dogs in the little dog park this morning because I was too early. So we went to the big dog park and he got to play with some big dogs. He loves it. He loves playing with the big dogs. So do I. I love playing with the big dogs. He, he absolutely is convinced he's a big dog, yeah. <laughs> convinced. That border collie that was in the video there, he was, he was chasing, Hugo was chasing him around. And the border collie was running away from Hugo. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll fuck you up. Come here. Fuck you up. Let's go, idiot. Alrighty, I'll have a bow peep in a second. I have. can do it. I probably can do it on camera though. I have steady enough hands to do it, but I need to be in absolutely optimal painting position. I need to be staring very closely at the model and making sure that I am uh, perfectly still. And that's very hard to do. Uh, with this camera right in front of me. Oh yeah, what he does is crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, Colwell's same, Colwell's just ridiculous too sometimes.
All right, Necromancer, let's check it out. How do you feel about it, mate? Okay, Dan's are on. Um, so what I like is the uh, the strong colours and the the really uh, good solid contrast you've got. Um, I think the if that headdress piece is supposed to be non-metallic metal, that is a big swing and a miss. But the skin tone's neat. Uh, the reds neat, the uh, the leathers neat. Yeah, the, the filter helped with the red, making it look more like a a light source. Um, I feel like uh, this is a great piece for you to uh, put aside and keep painting for another six months, and then pick up your latest paint job and compare it to this one because this is uh, is good. But I think where you'll be in six to twelve months is going to be significantly better. Um, probably, probably uh, something to think about. And I'm guilty of doing this as well. Is uh, is you've just got a lot of colours there, a lot of saturated colours, um, and sometimes having some uh, tones that aren't uh, as saturated and just a little bit less can help. Uh, sell a model's looking a little bit more realistic, but overall, mate, it's a pretty great, pretty great paint job on a bust. Well done. I think you said that was one of your first busts as well, wasn't it? Cool. Good job. You tell him, Hugo. You tell him, buddy. Maybe something for you to look at for your next piece, mate.
Jesus our lead. Make way for Prince Ali. They got super interesting weapons that he's actually trying to figure out how the light um, is supposed to interact on these weapons is very intriguing, very intriguing indeed. So I think I've figured out an approach for painting Citadel models that I like. In the past I used to just, I don't know, I'd stall out, get annoyed with stuff. But I think my approach now is to do all the big uh, details in broad strokes, like what I've done with this guy, and then come back in uh, after done all the broad strokes and do the little details like if you look at this dude on the back of him he's got this little fucking vial of one would assume blood just have a little nibble on when he's hungry and a little dangly bit here but rather than like worry about painting that now, I'm just going to leave that. I'll do all this other stuff, like all the pants bits. And then come back and do all the details. Revolutionary, I know. I'm redefining the painting genre here, friends. Fuck me. G'day, Faro Roach. That's a good colour, that wine red. Good colour.
<laughs> indeed, indeed it is. Oh, that's lessened. The impact of that is lessened by not having to um, not having to do as good a paint job. feel about that. It's just straight asking for trouble, isn't it? Very excited about starting my ASMR channel soon, friends. It's going to be glorious. Oh, my Jadai Bear. Thanks, buddy. I, I do want to become famous. I desperately want to become famous. Can you help me with that? I'd like to talk more about it in detail. Share your thoughts with me, big follows. I am a big follow. That's a shame. It's a shame that someone banned that guy. I actually did want there to be some variation in the skin tone, so. Are you for real? Well, that is unfortunate. We all do funny things sometimes when we are uh, truly invested in something.
this is this is just the thing about um, like self worth being tied up into a soldier game. It's just a self esteem thing when you desperately want to be recognised by your peers as good and there you go feel better about yourself I don't think anyone uh, like goes out of their way to get up in the morning and go you know what I'm going to fucking cheat today to uh, succeed in my life I'm sure there are some people that do I'm sure there are some people that do many things but Thanks, Topolis. But uh, yeah, it certainly feels like a unfortunate uh, side effect of people being really invested in uh, how they're perceived. It wasn't too bad, mate. Um, it's a tricky, it's a tricky thing to do. Uh, let me let me grab you an example from one of my pieces where I think I did a good job, and then we can talk about uh, perhaps why yours uh, wasn't as convincing. piece is probably going to be um, obvious. Thanks, Hydroloquid. So this is my, uh, I don't remember what I called it, Into the Depths, there you go, Into the Depths. It's my um, piece that won a, a medal at Monty and uh, SMC, which is very cool. Um, so the two things that, that stand out um, versus yours is, uh, the light source down the bottom um, is present, whereas yours it's considered off screen. Um, and so I've had to make sure that was a higher value than the actual reflected light. So you don't have um, that problem. Um, instead, you've got the problem of uh, the light source itself. Uh, what type of light is it casting? Um, so if you have a look at this, uh, let's zoom in. Uh, if you have a look at the skin tone on the demon and compare it to the skin tone on the orc, um, you probably went a bit heavy on that filter that I was talking about. Um, I did exactly the same thing uh, that that you did 
or had the exact same look on this model with uh, the skin tone and then let me see if I can find actually it's a work in progress shot it's actually on my Facebook page Facebook Trenton search profile I'm just trying to find this uh, step by step. Was it 2019? I think it was. There, I've got it. I've got it. So this is a work in progress uh, shot. And I apologise if this is if this is tremendously boring for everyone. This is a work in progress shot of that of that dude. Um, so you can see I've built up the skin tone same way as you did. Um, put the red in and then I continued to add the the value so increase the value of the light and as you as you um, start to think about the placement of the lights you realize that okay well the light needs to go in this spot needs to go in this spot and so i kept sort of increasing um where it went up into the earlobe and stuff um, so you can see uh, still quite rough at this juncture and there's, there's no airbrushing at this there might be a tiny bit of airbrushing in there but not an awful lot so uh, the next uh, stage is where I started to do some airbrushing And you can see that the airbrushing started to smooth it out and, and bring the the colours together. But this the, the difference from your skin tone and my skin tone is there's still a clear gap, um, like still quite a clear variation between the two colours. Whereas your your red filter sort of overwhelmed it. Um, I think. Um, So we started uh, getting more and more sections done and really drilling down on the uh, red. So this is about halfway through, I think. This will be the last photo. Um, so that was where I compared it to the, uh, the base. I uh, see so it might. Went through a lot of iterations, this piece did. Here's a later version. Had to add the red to the snake. Made the head darker. See how he's still got eye sockets? <laughs> I decided to sculpt eyes. <laughs> At a late stage. Anyway, um... So I think what you've done is is good. Uh, I guess you just gotta you gotta really understand that that each the light hitting in a specific angle uh, will influence the colours on the other surfaces that are opposite that angle. But it doesn't 
it doesn't fully change them, it just slightly filters them. So I think you maybe went a little bit heavy and it turned it from looking like red light to looking like red something. Tricky to do, mate. Tricky to do. Yeah. yeah the, the good the good thing about what you've done, mate, is is you've you've actually put paint to a model, rather than getting yourself caught up in how do I do something or what do I do next. You've just gone in and had a crack, and that'll that'll be valuable more more so than like spending all your time trying to figure out what the perfect way to do things is. Just get in there and have a fucking go. Um, because what you can go, what you can go away and do now is, yeah, now you can do your research and be like, okay, I understand a little bit more about this because I've, I've done uh, X, Y, Z element before. vampires. Hello friends. I'm going to start this trip. What's happening little bud? You alright? You miss your mum, don't you? Yeah, man. I miss my mum. <laughs> Same as yesterday, friends. We won't be going for an ultra long stream today. We will just be doing... Uh, a short stream. So I can uh, look after my little mate. Probably be about 2 hours, 20 minutes. So we've got another... Half an hour or so. She got lots of little little knickknacks. This chick. What colour am I going to make this thing? Fabric? Looks like fabric. Colour hair for this friend. Colour hair for this friend. Yeah, you really do need to read that copy, mate. In fact, I think it is time for you to read that copy.
Yeah, she's awesome. Just perplexed about what her outfit is. <laughs> Something like this. Purple hair, maybe? Purple? 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 Let's try, ooh, this color's cool, violet red. Let's try this one, I think I've tried this. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that's a neato color. Do I actually have a deep purple here? Purple color? Or am I gonna need to stick with my other purple? What are you doing, bud? Get some water, good boy. Good boy. I need my paintbrush, buddy. <laughs>
Well, let's try something actually. Let's see how close we can go. And still get focused. Not that way, this way. Looks like that is too close. Interesting. Oh no, I just I figured out how to do manual focus and uh, I think it's going to let me zoom in significantly better. Which of course you would know because you were here from the start, Rapid Transit. So, what's up, buddy? What's up? You hungry? What's up? What's up? Give me one second, friends. I'm gonna go check on my little mate who's having a cry. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? What's up? Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You hungry? <laughs> no, you want to play? Sorry, friends. <laughs> He's getting excited to go for a, another little walk, I think. Uh, so there's not a lot of interesting purple colours in the uh, in the AK paints, by the looks of things.
Feels like I've been a very quiet streamer today, friends. So I apologise for that. If it's upset you. <laughs> G'day, how's it off? Yeah, it's a really cool hair. Uh, yeah, looks looks as though we will be having uh, CanCon in 2022 uh, in January, which is very exciting, uh, with some you know, the social distancing, etc. Um, which then therefore means Crystal Dragon, the painting competition, will be back, uh, which I organise. And but this year I may not be judging, although that depends. Uh, on a few factors, so I may end up judging after all. Um, and yeah, apparently there's there's a convention on this weekend, which I'm uh, I was surprised to hear about BrizCon. Obviously, they didn't advertise it all that well because I had no fucking idea it was on. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm confident in Australia things will go back to pretty much normal um, now we've maybe got uh, you know, a small risk of, a, of, a, of an outbreak that will result in like we had a couple of weeks ago in Brisbane we had we had a number of cases that uh, they couldn't confirm where the community transmission came in and so they put us on lockdown for a couple of days um, yeah so if something like that was to happen again I reckon they'd uh, They'd lock us down pretty quick, but the aside from that, it's pretty much back to normal. Uh, I probably I probably would enter if I wasn't judging. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't the last couple of years. Hey, can I mirror you? Yeah, I didn't mind a little cheeky lockdown either. Actually, I took those days off. It's the best. Yeah, so the the, the first year I. Uh, I organised the competition, I didn't enter. Uh, I wasn't a part of the judging panel, uh, but I just thought, no, I'm an organiser, it doesn't look great if you know, if we get to the award ceremony and I'm lucky enough to win an award uh, that I have to hand it to myself. That would look a bit shit. So in the end, I didn't, I didn't enter. Um, and then the next year I ended up judging um, so that I could allow the previous uh, six or seven years judges had judged every year um, an opportunity to enter so I was judging that year so last year was going to be the first year that I didn't uh, enter although I did enter sorry and, and uh, wasn't going to be involved in anything at all but uh, a variety of circumstances changed for some of the other people and so I've been uh, popped back in there and uh, yeah so I haven't decided I mean I, I would really like to enter something because it's been about it's been about three years since Colwell and I have gone fucking head to head I want to fucking go smoke that guy <laughs> nah, it'd be, be, good, be good to paint David and I we paint a lot and we have really contrasting styles it'd be good to see if I could um, if I could beat him in a in a straight up fight because I don't think I can.
Thank you, option seller. It is a magnificent sculpt, isn't it? But no, more than likely next year I will not be entering Crystal Dragon. This doesn't feel great uh, when you're the organiser to enter your own competition, does it? Yeah, they are sold out. Not in Australia though. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I do, I do agree, um, Azatoth, uh, in general, I think, uh, rushing back is, is a surefire way of, uh, of creating more risk. Um, I know it hasn't been the case for everyone, but I've quite enjoy, enjoyed lockdown life. Uh, a... Oh, Stevie, here we go. Yeah, hasn't changed my life dramatically. It's just made for some... Uh, uh, longer wait times on Uber Eats. <laughs> Same in your log. Yeah. I wish I could provide you compelling argument as to why they should, but I, I agree with you. businesses maybe are, uh, get a lot of their revenue through that sort of thing. It's been fascinating to watch the world um, respond. It's been terrible and awful and stress-inducing and anxiety-inducing. 
um, worrying about what's going to happen in the future. Uh, but it's also been, from a scientific perspective, just absolutely uh, incredible to see the way the world has adapted and in some cases how quickly they've responded, in some cases how they haven't responded at all. It's just... been a bizarre and amazing and awful and crazy time to be alive. Tip Top Baker, morning from Brisbane, pal. Let's be real though for a moment, American friends. <laughs> when have you been lauding yourselves? <laughs> in the last five years. <laughs> well, I don't want you to eat that, buddy. That's not, that's not for you to eat. I don't get into the uh, I don't get into the political stuff too much, friends. But I have to say that um, the golden rule I think we should try and live by is don't be a fuckwit to each other. Doesn't really matter who you are, where you're from, what you believe. I don't really care. Just just be nice to each other. I don't know. Doesn't seem that hard. Don't be a fuckwit. So. Um, I judge people more uh, for their behaviour towards other people than I do for their political beliefs. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right, mate. You got it. Thanks, Tip Top Baker. Yes, I've been uh, been streaming for about uh, three months now. Doing an awful job. Ah, uh -huh. excited! Uh, this is this is what I'm doing with this uh, with the black armor, mate. It's looking like this. See you, Stevie.
friends, we are approaching the end of today's stream. Got a little mate to look after. Who's pinging, ready for a play. Hey, buddy. Hey? Plus, I'm getting real hungry. What's up, bud? Oh, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> you are. Come on. Come on. Come here. Ah. Ah. Cry again. Do the cry again. Me, 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 me. Come on, have a cry. No. Play with your rapey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I better head off, friends. Better head off so I can play with this little bookhead. Come on, buddy. This is getting cranky at me. Just sitting here painting. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boom. Shake, shake, shake the room. Yeah, we are raiding like crazy. We will have fun. So this is the little Crimson Court thus far. This guy, last on the uh, last on the cards. Yeah, pretty fun. Pretty fun models. Uh, so I'm back tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow night on stream. Um, about 7 o'clock, 7.30, 6.30, my time. Who knows, it's on my, on my schedule. And I am going to have no little friend. <laughs> so uh, I'll be able to paint for as long as I fucking want, which is glorious. So let's find a friend to raid, shall we? Let's find a friend. Thank you for joining me this morning for a very short, glorious stream. Thanks, Quiff Naval Gazer. Uh, Wapelius is online. Don't see uh, too many other of my friends online. What are we all? We've got Jack of Clubs painting. He's painting an Orc Warboss. I've never heard of him before. He's got a lot of viewers. Let's maybe have a look at him. What else we got? Table Flip Studios. Any suggestions, chat? See a rapid transit. Let's have a look at Jack of Clubs. What are you painting, buddy? He looks like a nice friend. He's got 73 followers, though. So now, now we can do some paint chipping. He's about to do some paint chipping. I do like watching people do chipping. Uh... Jack of Clubs. All right, Jack of Clubs it is. Let's raid Jack of Clubs, friends. Jack of Clubs painting. There he is, boom. Good work, friends. Have a fantastic day, evening, whatever it may be. You're all superstars in my books. Let's go check out Jack of Clubs. Just in time.